So October was really great, the end of which I played the Bacon Theatre where Jay Marshall did an amazing piece of live choreography to Grown Up Kid, which I'm going to be uploading as a video that you can see, but here's a clip. It was such a surreal experience to have, be performing and trying to perform because the idea was that I would perform and not necessarily know or acknowledge in sort of you know, a way that she was there and what she was doing. Um, but it made for a really actually quite challenging considering it's only like the third time I've played the song live and I'm having to think about playing it the same as for the way I recorded it for the 10 characters <laughs> project because that's how she's choreographed it too so I'm making sure that I'm getting all the words right and hitting all the points of the highs and the lows the same way because she's choreographed to the feel of the song as well but it was great fun I really loved it I also played a lone boy later on in the evening um, where everyone sang along beautifully and it was genuinely an awesome gig and thank you very much Jay for asking me to be a part of that and for making the first of what I hope is more times to come where we will be doing some more stuff like that in the future. For most of November nothing's really been going on in terms of gig wise but I do have two gigs coming up. The first one is supporting Andrew Rochford at the Stables in Milton Keynes and then on the Thursday I am playing Tank in Gloucester but I will also be playing a little busking slot in the Keys a few hours before I think at about 4.30. So if you're coming down a little bit earlier you can do a bit of Christmas shopping very early I right know it's still November we shouldn't really be mentioning the Christmas word the holidays but you know deals <laughs> and then we arrive at December and on the 5th of December I will be playing Ronnie Scott's finally I'm playing upstairs the TV nights night uh, with a number of other musicians and it's going to be a fantastic night so please do come along it's I've been wanting to play Ronnie Scott since I ever first started doing this uh, whole music thing and it's a great venue, historic venue and it's right in the heart of Soho so come along to London and spend your Tuesday night with me. Then I'm playing Winchester Pizza Express, interesting fact, Winchester used to be the capital of England, don't know if you knew that, but it's quite cool. A bit of historical facts in these vlogs now apparently. And then there is talk of a couple of other things happening towards the end of the year but then we are on into 2018 uh, where I will be playing the Roses Theatre in Tewkesbury and also I will be playing at the Prince Albert in Stroud and there's also other stuff happening, festivals are starting to happen and come in so the next year is looking pretty good before the end of the year I really want to try and get this 10 characters thing out to you I have got all 10 characters now from Emily and they are stunning. I am very, very pleased with how they've turned out. So I will give you a little bit of a taste of those. Are you gonna treat me like Loki? Cause the painter is a gentleman. Nice to meet you. Please excuse the mess of the postman. He delivers. The girl next door is an awful boy. She can have you on her knees with us. Cause the man is not He's never alone. Cause the life of a traveler is not quite as glamorous. have some little things planned as holiday new year treats so in summary I hope you've had a lovely November so far I hope you had a great Thanksgiving if you're watching from America um, and if you're watching from anywhere else in the world say thank you to someone anyway it's a nice thing to do uh, and yeah that's kind of me done I'm sorry I haven't really done a vlog for 
most, it was meant to be one a week and I've kind of given it a month. Um, but in that time I have been busy boy doing some other stuff, also working with Els on a number of bits and things that are going on with her next year and yeah. There's exciting stuff in the pipeline, so keep your eyes peeled online. Please do like and share this, and when you see the Grown Up Kid video, anything that you can do to share that and spread it around to everyone, I'd be really grateful for, because I'm really proud of how it turned out. Thank you for watching. Thank you for still being interested in the world of George, and uh, take care from me and Tink. Happy Thanksgiving. Bit belated on it, but yeah, still. Bye! <laughs> I always do this when I record these vlogs. I forget, like, one little thing, and then I'm going through the editing process, and I go, oh yeah, I did that. That was really cool. Why am I not talking about this? I went to go and see Newton Faulkner play his Hit the Ground Running tour, um, and Sam Brooks was supporting, he was brilliant, but Newton has always been a major part of my songwriting history I guess the best inspiration that he has had on me I rarely list him as an inspiration because I can no way play the amazing guitar that he plays but in terms of songwriting and the feel of his songs and that sort of gap between genres that's where I love I love his stories I love his hooks and his melodies and his stage presence the way he commands an audience and talks to them like they're just friends and involves them in wanting to sing along and stuff that's really important to me so to be able to see that live was amazing uh, I also was one of the first 50 people there so I got to go and meet him afterwards and we shared a few poses um, and I told him how much uh, his music means to me and I went total fanboy uh, so thank you Newton and um, yeah that's it sorry that was just a little PS because yet again George forgot something in his vlog see you soon <laughs> bye alright one two three alright nice now we're looking at uh, we going straight down once? yeah oh, oh wow